Hey everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Dave Hedeman, the Senior Sales Engineer with Trimble. And uh, I just wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk to you about improvements that have been made to the miscellaneous components uh, between 2023 and 2024. Um, now there's a lot more that I'm not covering today. I just want to hit a couple of highlights. And there's more improvements beyond the miscellaneous tools that you can also go to the release notes and look at. Um, but what's, what's funny is, you know, I found one of these by accident when I was messing around with a stair. And I, I literally went, you know, where the heck did, when, did, when was that added? Um, so, you know, shame on me. I, I should know that stuff a little bit better. Uh, but I figured if I didn't notice it or if I didn't know about it, there's a pretty good chance that some folks out there didn't know about it either. Um, so, you know, we're not focusing on any fixes. It's just what's new, what's been added. Um, and again, sticking to the miscellaneous tools here uh, in this short video. So the first thing I want to talk about today is the ladder tool. So right now I've got a simple S60 ladder with the cage turned off. Um, and in older versions of Tecla, the side rails would be the full height of the ladder, whether it was 20 foot, 80 foot, 1,000 foot, right? Um, you'd have these pieces of steel on the sides that were as long as the ladder was tall. Now, obviously, a fabricator can't order an 80 foot piece of flat bar. So... Uh, what we added was on the parameters tab, uh, the stringer cuts by default is at full length, full height of the ladder. But if you come in here and change this to at max length, you can set what that max length is. So if I say, yeah, my fabricator can only get 20 foot pieces of flat bar and I modify this ladder. When I zoom in here, you can see that now there's a splice put in here or a split point. And let me change my selection options here. So now I've got two or four, you know, pieces of rail where I used to have uh, only, only two. So a, a minor improvement, this is actually a 2023 fix. Um, and like I said, I kind of went through release notes and, and looked up the last couple of years. Um, but this was one thing that I thought was really helpful. Another thing that was added in 2023 is full bolt controls. So not only for the, um, the bolts down here at the feet, but also the bolts or the holes for these anchors or the, the rear brackets, uh, but also how they connect to the side rails. And this is something that's been on the request list for a little while. Um, not only the ability to add bolts, but also to have full control for each one. And when I say full control, things like cut length. Because if I want to use something like a wedge anchor of a three-quarter inch diameter, I have to be able to come in here and set manually the negative cut length so that when I enable that bolt, I get that bolt to its set cut length. So that length value did not exist in older versions of Tecla, and especially not for all every single bolt type that you can have here. So a huge improvement for those looking to put a little bit more detail in the component uh, into the ladder that they couldn't do before. The last thing that I want to talk about on the ladder, um, and this was actually a customer request that uh, I remember fielding, is the ability to add some cuts to the top of the side stringers. So here you can actually come in and set a chamfer type. So if I wanted to set like a bevel chamfer, chamfer on here, we could come in and set like a one inch bevel cut and say modify or you could add any other type of chamfer like a radius or something like that. So again, something that did not exist before, you'd have to go in there and manually cut those out uh, that's now been included inside of the component. Uh, that particular feature, I believe, is a 2024 option. Okay, so keeping things moving along, and I'm just uh, checking my notes here to make sure. Um, so in the stair tools, and I'm only showing the two main stair tools that I use, my S74 and my S71. So here's a ZPan S74 that's opening up. Um, so the one new thing that was added in uh, 2023 was the um, ability to have a vertical offset for the top and the bottom dog legs, or what they call extensions here. So this isn't something that comes up often, but if you need to, um, you know, there's the sort of overall adjustment. So if I want to adjust both by, say, one inch above the nosing here, um, I can do so to both sides. But what if I need to extend vertically just one beyond that? Um, that's where this vertical offset for top left and vertical offset for top right. So if there is some reason that you need to offset one of these a little bit further, 
let's say I want to go another two inches higher than that, um, I can hit modify and now that's gone up an additional two inches over this side. So it gives me a little bit more, again, control uh, of my stringer positions. And also we've added the same thing at the bottom. So here we have the matching value. So I want both, um, both of them to, to behave the same way from my point up three inches. But if I need to adjust one a little bit further, I can do a vertical extension of, you know, let's say again, two inches. And you can see there, that's the left side. Let me undo, redo, so you can see that happen. Making those minor adjustments to one of the stringers instead of both. That same functionality has been added uh, to all of the different stair types, at least the major ones. Um, again, I use S71 and S74 most of the time, um, but that's something that was added in uh, 2023. Now, what triggered this whole thing, this whole video, is in 2024, if I rotate this around, um, we can now disable the brackets at the top and at the bottom of the tread. In older versions of Tecla, this was only available for bent plate brackets, not for angle brackets. But if you look at the horizontal bracket and the vertical bracket tabs, there's a new create top step and create bottom step bracket option. And the same thing for the vertical option. So if I come in here to the horizontal bracket and I need to turn this off because maybe I've got a beam that I'm framing into, I can say modify and it's gonna go ahead and turn off that bracket. And the same thing down here at the bottom, if I need that one, I can say no, or if I need that one off and modify and turn that bracket off as well. So a minor thing, but I, I remember seeing that in the wishlist item years ago and um, I never even noticed it in the release notes. I just happened to stumble up upon this when I was messing around with the stairs the other day. The other really, really cool thing that I found, and um, this is something that, again, I've been asking for for years, is um, in S71, let's go ahead and close this and open up S71. It, in S71, hopefully you know that you can create custom components to use as treads. I've got some other videos of that in my playlist on YouTube. Um, if you go to the steps tab is where you can control the component being used. But notice here in 2024, I have a middle step, a last step, and a first step. That never existed before. Now, why would I need that? So there are times that I've seen where um, maybe a pan or some sort of custom tread, especially a bent tread of some kind, the top and the bottom step are a, bif a different bend than the you know all the middle steps. And um, in S71, we couldn't do that. We had one like a one size fits all. So to try to demonstrate that, what I did over here was I, I invented three different custom component treads. Uh, excuse me, they're very silly and kind of simple, but I'm just trying to make a point here. So the red one is supposed to represent my middle treads. The blue one is my top or my last step where I have this really long vertical back piece. And then in the uh, teal or green, what I've got is a vertical front piece uh, to represent my first step, okay? So just you know, showing how we can use three different treads in the S71 stair. So let me come back over here and I'm going to choose my my middle tread for the middle steps, and I just have a standard attribute file, so we're just going to uh, put standard in there. And I'm going to put the bottom step in the, whoop, wrong one. Let me put the top step there. There we go. And then we'll put bottom step in the first step. So again, these are just some very quick, unintelligent custom components that I threw together just to prove a point. Um, so I've got three different custom treads here, and if I hit modify, you can see that we've got those treads loaded in. So the uh, red treads are being loaded into the middle, the dark blue is being loaded up there at the top, and then the teal down here at the bottom. So if you ever need to create a series of custom pans or custom bends or any sort of custom tread where the top step needs to be different and the bottom step needs to be different, you can now do that in Tecla Structures 2024. So that's all I wanted to show today. Like I said, there are a bunch of other uh, enhancements, but also a lot of fixes over the last couple of versions. So be sure to check those out in the release notes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you don't know where to find those. Um, so 
As always, we hope you enjoy this content. Let me know about down below if there's anything that you want to learn more about, some uh, you know content ideas for these types of videos, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.